person gets attacked on the street, we want the narrative to be that anti-Semitism is never okay. We don't want the narrative to be that maybe this person themselves were to blame for that anti-Semitism because they publicly displayed and openly conveyed the message that they were Jewish. That kind of narrative is a narrative that they are creating. We think that that narrative is wrong, that narrative is abhorrent. We think that in order to create a narrative that attacks on any kinds of religions are never okay, we allow people to openly express their religion. But we don't make people scared of their religion. Because closing opposition can tell you, but in civil conversations, I might still tell you I am Muslim. You won't. Why not? That has given you several reasons for that already that were completely unresponded to. Why won't you do that? The reason why your leaders tell you, please don't wear a simplex, don't wear a jihad, or wear any other symbols that express your religion in public. Because you need to be scared. Because when you are, can be identified as belonging to this minority religion, all kinds of crazy attacks might happen to you in the outside world. you are scared. You're not likely to tell a stranger, I am Muslim, and are therefore willing to engage in a civil conversation with them. That means that it is less likely that the general public will know what kind of um, religious minority people belong to, but it also means that it is less likely that the general public will therefore have positive experiences with these minorities. We think that that is harmful for multiple reasons. Let's make this debate on two points. First of all, I'm going to tell you why we think that the anti-religion narrative and anti like hate towards religion is going to increase within society, why we think that it's massively problematic. We don't want a society where it is more likely that people like Geert Wilders and like Marianne Le Pen are going to be voted into government because we think that that's horrible. The second thing I'm going to talk about is where religious extremists are more likely to occur, but we also think that that is problematic for society because we crowd out the more nuanced and the, and the, uh, the, more, nuanced and the more moderate narrative. Opening. Jewish persons were attacked in Paris on the street because practicing religion in public spaces is connected to fundamental states, religious state. This was an attack on Israel and this is why the minority was suffering. They are more Jewish than French in their eyes because of this display in public. Madam Speaker, we're not claiming on site opposition that we think that under our model attacks will never happen. We're very sorry that they do. We are, however, claiming that we think that when an attack is happening, we should condemn every attack that happens against every minority. That we shouldn't tell that minority that maybe they themselves were to blame for that attack because they openly and publicly displayed to what religion they belong to. Okay, why is anti-religious narrative going to increase and is this not going to lead to any kind of integration? Opening up a, prop a proposition told, told us that as long as we can never see to what religion people belong to, we're all going to be nice, fluffy and civilized to each other. We don't think that that is true. Dan, Dan in his extension, pointed out that the narrative that is there and that will continue to be there about minorities and especially about Muslim minorities is that they are scary. Because when we read out crime, we often read out that this crime was committed by an immigrant who came from Morocco and is therefore, in my opinion, most likely going to be a Muslim. These kinds of information are not going to be prohibited from being broadcasted in the media under their model. That means that the information I'm going to get about those minorities is still that they are dangerous and harmful and threatening to the existence of the majority in society. The problem with that is, is that I now no longer have this very nice and lovely um, Muslim women working next to me wearing a jihad and is recognizably Muslim. That gives me the counter narrative and a positive image of what, like, what being a belonging to a mi like religious minority can be. That means that I'm therefore more likely to buy into the rhetoric of people like Geert Wilders who are telling me that those minorities are awful and, 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 like, and that we therefore need to impose racist and offensive policies within countries. We don't want that to happen, but we can only stop that from happening when positive encounters with people from religious minorities are still there. We think that they are limiting the chance of me having a positive encounter with minorities under their policy. Closing. In the status quo, people will not even talk to someone wearing burqa stereotypes. Once you impose this policy, you will firstly talk to someone, and after some time, once you maybe find out that someone was a Muslim, you have a proof of your stereotypes being wrong. In status quo, you won't start a conversation. Madam Speaker, we completely deny that on the basis that France banned burqa, that everyone in Europe is really, really scared of someone wearing a burqa. Is therefore not really Racist people will always be there 
we don't think that the majority of Europe or the majority of the world is racist and that therefore their premise is a correct premise that they can make. But what about extremism and why do we think that extremism is going to be more likely? They tell you religious leaders often are important within their communities and have like, a lot to say and are therefore the perfect body to implement this. Recognize that Dan already explained to you that religious leaders are not necessarily as authoritative as they, as they claim them to be. Recognize also that being Muslim doesn't necessarily mean the same thing for everyone. That is why, for example, for example we have the, like, the Shiites and the Sunnis who completely disagree upon certain things. That is why, for example, within, like within Judaism, we have people who interpret the, um, the Torah on different ways and on their own account. But the reason why we think that that is problematic is because that we think that moderate religious leaders often have a very good function in integrating people in society. We think that moderate leaders are able to form a link between that society and the people around them. We think that they're going to hinder that because those people no longer trust their moderate leaders because the moderate leaders are pressing the agenda of the majority. That is problematic because that means that those minority people who do think that the public display of religion is important to their identity are more likely to turn to more extremist leaders within their community. They then tell you, yeah, but we think that it is just not important to your identity because you can express your religion on any other account. Given that they also recognize that religion is a personal experience, I don't think that they can make the claim that religion and religious interpretation for every single individual is the same. We think it is an individual choice to value religious symbols upon you. We therefore think that extremism is a likely thing to factor in. We already see an increase in extremism, right? We already see that, for example, the fraction of ISIS within the Netherlands is growing stronger. They're having massive protests on the streets, which we think are dangerous because they're often violent. We think that these things are more likely to happen when we tell people within the religion, we don't like you because you're not like the majority. That means that they're more likely going to press for their own agenda rather than willing to integrate and willing to assimilate. Madam Speaker, we never agree with any violence against religion. They're going to make that more likely to happen. They're going to make violence against anyone more likely. Integration less likely. We're very proud to be